Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to bench bleed a brake master cylinder and install it onto this 1972 Corvette. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Okay, the tools that you're going to need for this job include a large screwdriver, a flare nut wrench at 9 16 an open end or box and box end wrench 9 16 two plugs that come with the kit. One is a um, half inch 20 thread and one is a plug that's a 9 16 um, uh, 18 plug. You're also going to need some clean brake fluid, new brake fluid, and of course you're going to need the master cylinder and uh, what we uh, used here is an AC Delco master cylinder. Um, the AC Delco number is 18M27 and the GM part number is 1830269. Unfortunately it's made in China, but um, eh, what are you going to do? Most things are. Okay, so we have taken the uh, AC Delco master cylinder out of its box and have mounted it into a vise. Um, Reading the directions and uh, one of the things that they uh, included was a warning to not um, bench bleed the master cylinder inside the car because it can uh, damage um, the cylinder inside of, uh, inside of the master cylinder. So um, we will be doing uh, what the manufacturer recommends which is uh, bench bleeding on the bench. Um, so it's installed in the vise. Uh, there are two different methods to be able to do the bench bleeding and we're going to use the first method. Um, included in the um, box are two plugs and we will install these plugs um, as a part of the process and then be pressurizing against these uh, plugs. So first thing you do, um, take out the old or the, uh, the dust covers Remove the cover, take, excuse me, the brake fluid, clean brake fluid, brand new, and fill the master cylinder. And then you wait for uh, gravity to do its job and uh, start um, having the brake fluid flow out of the master cylinder through these two ports. It's helpful to have a, uh, a rag to catch the problems when they come out or catch the fluid when it comes out. And I'll make sure I get the plugs ready so I don't make a mess. And the small, the red plug goes in the front on the um, rear, the rear cylinder, and the um, the black uh, plug goes on the rear port, which is for the front brakes. Um, you'll notice there's also a dust cover in the back. We'll remove that dust cover um, as we're waiting for the fluid to uh, make its way through. Um, what we're going to end up doing is, uh, we'll, we'll put this dust cover back on before the installation, but we're going to take a um, large screwdriver and, um, and pressurize um, the master cylinder by pushing it in with the, um, with the screwdriver. There we go. There's the first one. All right. That didn't take long. Red in the front, black in the rear. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. and install the cover back on. Did 
tighten the plugs, hand tight, and then push once every 15 seconds until uh, the pressure is increased um, and you can't push against it any further, um, or the back pressure. That, that will indicate that all of the um, air has been um, bled out of the, the cylinder. Okay, I gotta tighten that a little bit more. Tighten the plugs with a 916th wrench. These plugs are plastic, so you can't put a whole lot of pressure on them. And then depress. Okay, so you don't put the cover back on. I'm getting no more bubbling coming out of the cylinder so it is clear. Next thing I'm going to do is put this back on. Put the dust cover back on. And then we will move the master cylinder over to the car and install it on the car. This view is inside the engine compartment and we're looking towards the steering wheel. What you can see here is the, um, the piston that will go inside of the master cylinder. Um, the two studs which are coming out of the firewall which will be used um, in conjunction with the, the nuts which will hold the uh, master cylinder in place and uh, the front brake line and the rear brake line. What we'll do is install the master cylinder into this area here, tighten up um, the master cylinder so that it is um, securely fixed to the wall or to the firewall and then we will remove the uh, temporary plugs and uh, one at a time and uh, tighten up each of these um, uh, connections. Um, what, you'll, we, what we will need uh, in order to do this job is uh, quite, it's quite simple. It, just a uh, 9 16 inch wrench, um, typically the only size wrench you need for a Chevrolet. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, always when you're working with brake, brake fluid, make sure that you're using rags to catch any of the overflow. Um, there'll definitely be overflow when we take the temporary plugs off um, to install the uh, brake lines. Okay, so the master cylinder goes in. We take the, uh, the um, plunger, uh, make sure that it goes through um, the hole um, in the dust cover. Line it up and insert it. Then line up the studs. It's a little hard pushing it in first time. Just get it lined up, get the nuts on to the studs. Finger tight. There's not a lot of room to move in here. That's why an open-end wrench is necessary. You can't get a socket in there very easily.
Okay, the nuts are on. They're hand tight. Now I'll just uh, sock them in. Now I'm going to move in here. One flat at a time. Gotta love it. Okay, I've moved the camera again. Now we're looking at uh, the driver's side um, towards the um, connections. As you can see, um, what I'm going to end up doing now is removing the, um, the, the temporary ports one at a time and installing um, the, rear the rear brake line and the front brake line. And I'm going to use a uh, 9 16 flare wrench so I don't damage the fitting. Okay, next. Take off the rear plug. Okay, black plugs out. These are so much fun to line up. Started. Then tighten it with a flare wrench. Okay, got it started. Use the 9 16 flare wrench. Tighten it up. By the way, the fittings on these uh, ho on these uh, brake lines. This is a uh, um, nine sixteenths, eighteen, and this is a half inch twenty. Um, they're they're set up um, different thread sizes so that you don't mix up um, the front and the rear brake lines. Okay, done installing the master cylinder. Okay, so there you have it. The master cylinder has been installed. All that's uh, left to do now is to bleed the air out of the brake lines going to all four cylinders. Remember, if you like what you saw, we really would appreciate if you uh, subscribe to the shop. Thanks for watching.